What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Apple with the ticker symbol AAPL. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So is Apple back to being bullish? Well, it kind of looks like it. You can see that there was a large sell off, but we couldn't continue any lower. After this 155 level was reached, we just got a big bounce. Now we got back above the EMA and now it looks like we could be possibly in the formation of the second leg. So let me zoom out on the chart. Or well, first, let me show you guys the more recent uh, price action. So you can see that there was a downtrend right here. All these candlesticks are inside of this channel. And you can see that all these bars or candlesticks is the technical term are inside of this channel. A lot of them are inside of here. And then we had a breakout side of the channel and then we just reversed. So normally when we get a breakout side, we usually get a retest of the lows or usually even exceed it. But this time we didn't. So that tells me that we possibly bounced from a stronger support, uh, kind of like the major pattern. And this is the minor one. So if we bounced, I need to find out where did we bounce from. So when I was looking back on the chart, it looks like this channel was probably what rejected prices upwards. So you can see that this yellow channel is in play. It fits pretty good. You see that we got a few touches right here and then we ran up and got like several touches up here also. And then we sold off to the support side. So that's how channels work. We move from the highs to lows, lows to the highs. Um, well, that's in a, if in uptrend, we move from the highs to the lows and a downtrends lows to the highs also it just depends on where we are relative on the channel we're just going to be bouncing like a pinball so you can see that we didn't get the retest of the lows because we got rejected from the support of this channel and also prices came right back to test this previous low you can see that this 156 level it was prior resistance price eventually broke through it came back found some type of support and then continued higher and then everyone else when they realized prices bounced here again, they thought this was a good buying opportunity like it was before. And then they just rode the wave up. So that's a very aggressive trade to take just because this channel wasn't still in play and the market was pretty bearish. So I think um, it could have gone both ways. We could have got another push down before continuing higher. But you can see that this time you, it didn't. So you just don't know. And sometimes you just have to let some opportunities pass that you're not sure about because if you get it wrong you could be um in worse shape than if you just were in uh profit or something like that so you see that we didn't get the retest of the lows but now we got this huge rally up and now there was some consolidation and now it looks like we're probably going to continue to move higher and if we do continue to move higher where are we headed next you can see that that was the first leg this could be potentially the second leg and this target is right at the 191 level so that's definitely a target that Apple looks like it wants to reach. I think we're going to continue to reach a new all time high. I think there's a high probability to reach the 183 level. As long as we don't drop below the 169 level, I think this target still holds. If we do drop below it, maybe something like this, then we need to reverse quickly um, back up. If we don't, there's a strong possibility to come back to the support side of the channel uh, and then get a bounce from here. But I think the more likely pattern to play out is just we continue to uh, push higher and higher from here to reach the upper side of the channel like we did over here or even the measured move at the 190 level. Let me zoom on the chart again. You can see that Apple's been going up for quite a long time. And you can see that this measured move is also potentially in play. You can see that that would be the first leg up. And if I drag this over to where pay, uh, excuse me, Apple started continuing to trend higher, you can see that this measured move is very close to the other measured move I had here, the smaller arrow. So that tells me that this confluence and that means that other traders are also looking at this target and it just gives it a stronger um, belief that we can reach these prices. It just give me more confidence um, that this is accurate. So I think that's where um, 
Apple is going to be headed uh, to these higher price levels to enter the high 180s and even the 190s. So as, as long as um, Apple continue, continues to push higher, because there is some resistance right here, you can see that if I put a trend line, a flat trend line across this price level, you can see that this was the first point of rejection. And then we came back and got rejected again. We dropped down, got some type of support at this dash line, with this, which is the midline of the channel and the EMA. We slowly chopped around and then we pushed up and now we're back right at resistance. So are we going to break through it and reach the measure move or are we going to get rejected back down over here um, before seeing what price action wants to do? So I'm leaning more towards the bullish side, like I said, because there's a lot more uh, reasons for the price to continue higher but it could also trap longs and drop lower but just the way the market's moving uh, it's I think it's unlikely just how high we have traveled to come back to this price level I'm not saying it's not possible I'm just saying it's unlikely um, I've seen this play out more normally we're just probably going to continue to push higher and higher and reach those higher price targets so that's everything I have on the daily chart let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart and here you can see we have the weekly chart for Apple and man, this thing's been going up pretty much since uh, 2008, 2009 bull market. So we've just been going up and up. There are sell offs, um, obviously in the trend because nothing moves in a straight line. The market moves in waves and you can see that since 2020, we've been inside of a spike in channel. So that's a very, it's a pretty strong trend, especially since we're at a nice 45 degree angle. It's not really crazy like this was right here, which is unsustainable. And it's not really weak like a 25 degree angle. This is a nice 45 degree angle that continues to move higher and higher. And it doesn't look like it's losing any steam as of right now. We just continue to push up higher and higher. Let me go and make this green. So you can see that prices are also being supported by the EMA, which is also a basically a moving support. So you can see we got a bounce here, we got a bounce here. We got a bounce here at the EMA and channel, another bounce here at the EMA and channel, and another pullback to looks like almost the channel and the EMA. We closed very strong on this day, um, excuse me, in this week. And now you can see that this three weeks in a row that prices um, have been in the green. So I think we're gonna surpass that all time high. I don't think we're gonna get this close to the all time high and not exceed it, especially with this momentum that's carrying and pushing prices higher. And I think we're gonna reach those targets before seeing a bigger sell off. Let me show you guys one more time that measured move. And since the market moves in twos, this would be the first leg up, and this is the second leg up. A lot of traders are looking at this measured move. The alg algorithms are programmed to trade until these targets are met. So there's a lot of reasons why these measured moves um, are working in the market. So you s it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So a lot of traders are looking at this, and you can see that the target that they have in mind is right in into the one. 87 level which is the high 180s or the low 190s so i think this target is people is where people are going to start taking the profits and possibly even start uh shorting the market there's a lot of short sellers right now i think they're going to get stopped out because you can see the trend is up and the trend is your friend until it ends so it could last a long time people probably thought this was the top right here they probably think this this right here would be top so they're probably going to get stopped out it's just a higher probability always assume the trend's going to resume especially if we're still inside of the channel so i think um i've said enough it's very easy to see which direction we're headed it's up and these are my targets that i believe apple can reach thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.